brilliant, George. It's a masterpiece. The Wimple suits you, Bullery. But it completely covers my face. Exactly. Well, I'm afraid that's about it, sir. Apart from this little thing. Uh... Ah, now that's more like it. It's excellent. Congratulations, man. Oh, it's totally inspiring. Ah, paintings. What an amazing thing it is that an artist who is truly talented is able to transfer a message, an expression, a thought, a feeling through a painting that he draws so that people even hundreds of years later can look at that painting and connect to what the artist was supposedly thinking of. No time to lose. George, set up your easel. Baldrick and I will pose. This is going to be art's greatest moment since Mona Lisa sat down and told Leonardo da Vinci she was in a slightly odd mood. <laughs> in this week's parasha, parasha Turma, God tells Bnei Israel, if you will build a temple for me, if you will connect to me beyond all measures, because you will be building a temple not for your own sake, not because it is your house that you want to show everyone, because it is my house. Ve'asu limikdash. If you will build this temple for me, ve'shachanti betocham. My presence will be among you, will be within you. If you are able to look at God, to talk to God, to thank Him, to truly feel that He was with you now when you bought that fancy ice cream or when you had that coffee or when you succeeded to learn something or when you've done something that made you feel happy. I think you are in heaven as you were in the best of times here on earth. Like right now. Like right now. Thanks. Thanks. May we always be able to connect to this wonderful, holy feeling of the presence of God among us, so that all the good deeds and all the good times in our life, which involve us feeling connected to God, will be part of our future, the generations to come, which will be in even a small way connected to us, to our educational contribution to the world. Amen. Shabbat Shalom and Chodesh Adal Sameach.